want to try to come to work today? Huh? You want to try to take the trash out today? All right. Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. It's about 540. Just getting ready to leave for work. We're going back to the patio we've been working on. We're going to pour the interior there and we are going to stamp it with our new Inca texture from Proline. I'm going to do something just a little bit different on this one. I'm going to wet tool the control joints and stamp over that. Normally on bigger areas, we come back the next day to saw cut, but I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I'm also bringing my daughter Hannah today with me. Uh, legitimately, I'm getting low on work. I have maybe three and a half weeks of work lined up right now, which is pretty low for me. And the reason for that is I just have not done bids in such a long time. Uh, so I'm going to have her start going through my leads and, you know, setting up appointments for me for the rest of this week, the weekend, and as far out as I can. I got to hustle now and bring in some new work all right well you guys saw annie is back uh she was really really sick but she is somewhat better she's still not perfect she still has like coughing and sneezing fits but she's definitely doing better than she was all right i'm gonna take this trash out i will see you guys at the coffee shop how much garbage do we make good work annie's back You want some coffee, Hannah? Um, sure. All right. House wine, good choice. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Fine, how are you? Not too bad. When do they let you take your in-training sticker off? I believe after three months. Three months? Come on, that's a long time. Hey, I've already been here a month, so. All right, two, two more, more to, to go. go, yeah. Well, maybe in two months, you'll be the manager though, so. <laughs> <laughs> it goes straight to the top. No, that's okay. Have Thank you. Have a great you. day, and we'll see you next time. Yep. 601 just pulling into the yard. Nobody's going to be here. It's really early yet. Just me and Hannah. I got to gather up a bunch of stuff, clean out the back of my truck, and get everything ready to go. I like being here early. It takes the pressure off. First of all, we need liquid release. Ryan left the saw outside all weekend, which is not good. Bugs is here. Morning. Hi, Jay. How's your weekend? It was good. Hi, Jay. Watch out for Jay, Hannah. She bites. <laughs> she wants you to pet her. She wants you to scratch the fleas off her back. Yeah. Eric's here. And Ryan's here. Put all the stamps that are on that trailer in here. Right here. This trailer. Glad I specified. I'm glad I specified we would have every stamp except the stamps we need. Tried getting the sprayer can cleaned out, and that didn't work. <clears throat> so I gotta stop and get a sprayer can for the liquid release. We're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the Proline liquid release. I haven't used this before, but I think they're all pretty much the same. Morning. Good, I see you got your Proline shirt on. Yeah. Not victory style today? Not today. Whoa, look at that. Oh, you out of shirts or something or what? No, I just didn't clean them. Oh, Tino's here. Hey, you beat Francisco today. No way. 6.29, you're two minutes early. Hey, how come you threw this in the garbage can? You didn't like it? No, I don't like it. Well, this isn't even set up right. What? I don't think this is set up right. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. What's going on? What'd you say? Pouring concrete, Eric. I don't think this is set up right. I don't think this is just supposed to swivel free like this. You got to be able to lock it in a position. No, I did that on purpose. <laughs> you got cobwebs on your hat. You haven't been working hard enough. So this is all I have right here to reopen the joints. If we smush the joints in with the texture, this is all I have. I think uh, I got this. It should be the same threads as this. So maybe we'll put those in there so we can grab onto it. If I had time, I'd make a handle for it, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. So you could maybe put it on a stick and then hold it down. They have rollers, 
uh, that you can just roll the control joints and open open them back up but unfortunately i don't have one of those so we got to improvise today but i am going to order one of those if this goes really well those little rollers that go in the joints eighty dollars eighty dollars look at this screw just waiting to pop my tire yeah it is grandma's coming you like that ray yes i knew you did he's late because he blew his eardrums out with the 15s Oh, so and who wants to hear just a thump man? yeah yeah that's, what I told that's me. not i mean a lot of people like to hear the thump I bug I'd rather have i the used to end. when i was I young like the high end. bugs wants those guitars like yeah yeah but what about both where it's like saxophone all right can you still hear it still work He's like, hello, hello. Hey, hey. You didn't blow your ears out yet? Nope. With the 15s? Nope. Hey, you should put Ray in there and blow his beard around like. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting at least three to four things today. The interior of the patio, yeah. Got it. Good thinking. That's all he was thinking about was the bubble gum. All right, I think we have everything. I hope we have everything. Thursday's the day that I have planned. We're gonna clean the whole yard. No, and I mean the whole yard. This is all getting clean. It's just turned into a mega disaster. I can't take it anymore. I don't mind a little disorganization, but I have my limits. And we have reached the limit. All right, I think we're pretty much ready. You guys ready? Okay, let's go. Close up these sheds and get out of here. Yeah, Thursday, we're gonna go crazy here. Just get things organized. It'll be the last time. We do it, you know, three times a year, like a full organization. We'll do it now, and then we won't really do a, another one until fall. Mike left some money in him, one of these for me. The one with the Mountain Dew bottle. Loaded. I don't know why he gave me this much money. He rented the power buggy. No, I told him it was $100, $100 or something, $110. I don't remember what I told him. 110 I told him. Oh, he must have had it for a couple days. He took it for two days. Mike is so honest and he always pays me right away when he owes me money. Right away. I don't have to beg. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm gonna lock this one up. I'm gonna try to get some estimates scheduled for today. After work, after we're done pouring. Hopefully we can get one or two scheduled for today. Start getting that work coming in. I'm gonna get people some pretty good prices in the next two weeks here just to build build up a little bit i'm at z's builder supply just gotta grab a sprayer can quick i tried to clean one of my sprayer cans out but it was all globbed up so that didn't work morning i just need a sprayer can thank you all right just put it on put it on the tab okay all right hey it's ryan from victory uh, I can make it with nine and a half yards. If we can, okay. If we can do that. Give me a seven bag, low chert, air, microfiber, five inch slump. Concrete's ordered. Just pulling into the job. I came here Saturday and I, I did all my saw cuts, laid out the joints, washed, rinsed. I didn't wash it, I rinsed it off. All right, Jade? You got crusties and I ain't getting them for you. You're just gonna have to live with crusties. All right, guys are hanging plastic. We got our little ramp for the power buggy. Concrete should be here in just a little while. Hook up the bull float with three handles and the joiner. We need the joiner with three handles as well. I think Ryan filled this. No, he did not fill this. Put some liquid release in here. I'm gonna see if this tape sticks. And if it does, we gotta put this out because the problem is this is liquid release. And if you get liquid release on this, it stains it dark. I did that at Frank's house. This needs to be cut. And when you scratch this like that, rust stains are no good on the concrete. I'm gonna tape this edge off, put some plastic over these borders. I don't know if this stuff's gonna stick or not, but we're gonna try it. Let's give it a shot. I don't even know what this tape is called. I'm gonna have to ask. I like it. I'm sure it's got a name. Yeah. Once it gets to about 8.30, or eh, a little after eight, I'll have Hannah start calling and setting appointments for me. It's sticking just enough. We need little strips of plastic to cover everything. 
You gotta pull it like you mean it, man. Like you mean it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not doing it. I'm just choking. <laughs> it chokes over here. Oops. <laughs> got it. No way. You gotta go get it, dude. I, I gotta have a joiner, Eric. Go. Go. Eric's got the joiner in his truck at the yard. No way. Yeah, that's a great spot for it, and I need it for this part. Caught like a four-foot strip, so it can at least be out to here. That's uh, yeah, we'll... That way we can walk on it and stuff. Taking one of my old joiners apart. I'm gonna try to rig something up. All right, so this is what I got. We'll give it a shot. Put a screw handle on here. Once I cut the joints, I'll be able to put that that end on here. And then hopefully we can just take it down and just carefully, you know, fix up the joints, just tap it in a little bit. Because I know some of them are going to get closed up a little bit. It's kind of inevitable because I got to get on the concrete when it's a little wetter because it's a really aggressive pattern, as you can see. And you got to smash it down pretty good to get that full pattern in. And in doing that, you're going to, you know, you're going to cave in some of the joints. It's just the way it's going to be. Right, Ray? Yeah, sure. I do got to get a grinder though because this is deeper than the joiner is right now so I got to cut cut a little bit of that off go over to their house and grab that black hose reel she gave that to me we'll put that on Bug's truck when he gets back when Eric gets back Eric's probably gonna get lucky and not have to pour the concrete either all right so I cut some of the depth off now hopefully that'll be usable. And this is all you get to use on your side jobs for your walking joiner. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Mine is better than that. Yours is better than this? I can still cut them nice with this. New walking joiner. <laughs> Eric, this is the only one Eric can borrow from now on. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, hopefully this works. It'll do something. No, we already got one for you. We already got one for you. I can't believe that, Eric. I know, I left that, and I was like, what am I missing, too? And I looked at it, but I hit it, so I couldn't I couldn't find it. Put three handles on it, huh? My heart beat You didn't answer? My heart dropped no, to the ground. I you did? For when, today? Perfect. Good job. If you see anything where it's like, you know, I want repairs and this and that, obviously don't call them, because, you know, I don't do repairs like that. Mm -hmm. I'm calling concrete. They're a full half hour later already. Mr. Edmix is Jake, if I can help you. Hey, this is Ryan from Victory. Yeah, for eight o'clock. I'm just wondering, yeah. wondering where it is. It's it's on its way. It should be there. The truck's loaded and it's on the road. So. All right. Thanks. Should be seen any second. Here. All right. About the charging pin. All right. Thank you. Any second. Yeah. <laughs> One. No, he's not there. No, he's still not here. You see him, Hannah? Nothing. Oh, oh, he was he wasn't lying. Not even. Concrete's here. All right, Ray. I got this cut up in about five by five or less sections. Some of them were like four and a half by five. So super super small. All right, I'm gonna go check this concrete. Check the slump. I'm not gonna pour too wet, but. She did lick it, I didn't mean yeah, to. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Concrete tastes horrible. I, I believe it. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, concrete doesn't taste good at all. It's a little wetter than I wanted it, that's for sure. Oh, I'm feeling like they don't need me. I'm just gonna wait the bull float.
making progress pretty easy not really a big deal get like just get halfs at a time now like get like three quarter three quarter Hans is scheduling appointments for me. Schedule this one too. This is Nana's friends. Call them and schedule appointment right away too. Got to scrape together a bunch of work real quick. <laughs> Gonna scramble in a little bit. That's fine. I'm not worried about. It. I've been in much worse situations than this and pulled out of it just fine. But it's just uncomfortable, you know. You got three, three and a half weeks of work, and you're like, uh, what would happen if we ran out? Well, that would be really bad. But we're not going to run out. We're going to be just fine. Leave that felt on there, though, because it's going to rip all the tape off. Just leave that piece of felt on. Right. Just put plastic over it. Concrete's all down. Guys are edging. I'm going to put my boots on, my other boots. And then we're going to cut the joints, give it a few minutes, finish it start stamping i can't wait to see this wash and seal got more hannah yeah, oak street north no no that's in iowa so that's a no-go <laughs> okay so no and no can't go to iowa that just won't make financial sense i get asked to go to different states regularly not all the time but very regularly and i just can't do that i mean there may be some situations that come up in the future just the right situation where it would be cool and fun and worthwhile um, but those situations haven't popped up yet for me to bring all my equipment and all my guys to put them up in a hotel and then you got to deal with eric he's already nuts so i got to keep an eye on him at all times it would just be very very expensive to hire us to come somewhere and stay and and then do the work you got you're gonna have two travel days so you got to pay me for two days because i gotta pay all my guys it's just that's expensive labor is really expensive payroll is a oh, payroll is a lot of money every week more hans definitely no uh i guess yes and yes i'll take some jobs that we don't normally do just to fill our pockets up with work. Everything was going fine until Eric and Ryan went into business and Mike, and now I'm, to now I'm pretty much out of work. You guys stole all my work, Eric. Yes, you did. Yes, you guys did. I got three weeks of work and then we're gonna be all just chilling on the boat every day. <laughs> yeah, right. That was our plan all along, right, Eric? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Here, go, go to the other side. You gotta find the saw cuts. Make sure you're right in it where the duct tape is. You gotta feel it with your fingers so it hits the very center of the saw cut. You can't mess this up or it'll look terrible. You right in? All right, I don't think you have one there. Yeah, I got one right here, but it's like- that's, that's not the one. Um, I need a tape measure for that. Go to the top, we'll get some of these. You should have one somewhere, somewhere over there. I don't have this one either. Go to the corner of the step, Eric. Get it right in the middle of that saw cut. I feel it. All right, I'm gonna chop these joints up. There's some big, big rock in this concrete. It's hard to hit with your joiner properly, too. Oh, that looks terrible. That looks terrible.
Come on in ball flow, hurry up. Right here, Eric, go right up the joints. Like we did on uh, a couple other patios. Are you trying to race me here? Mm -hmm. oh. 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 <laughs> Got it. I'm gonna beat you back too. Ah. I'll go the other way too after this one and then I'll hit the joints one more time. And then you guys can jump on. Rinse this off, big Ray Ray. All right, he's both floating over the joints. I'll slide them once more in a few minutes here. And uh, I'll pretty much be ready to finish that. Guys can jump on and I'll stamp right behind them. The seven bay is going pretty good. N not a lot of waiting around here. This is a nice one though. I got one in my office from Schmitz too. So we got four of their scrapers right now. That one's not from Schmitz? He did? All right. Hey, at the end of the year, I could take them all over there and then ask if they want to buy them back. $50, $50 a piece. This one's worth 80 because this is nice. All right, Eric just bowl floated. I'm going to hit these one more time real quick. Tino, wash that joiner. on here and then we'll have our tool joining tool I'm gonna stamp and somebody else is gonna have to do this like as I stamp because this might be a lot of work depending on how bad they smoosh in or how many of them and I got to get one of them rollers for sure somebody gonna have to do this Ryan you why don't you do this this will be your job. I'll show you how to do it. Not that I know, but I'm just... <laughs> you don't know what you know. So when I go over the joints with some of the stamps, some of them are going to get smushed in, you know. So this that's what this is for. Start slow, and you're just going to open them up as they smush in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a cool tool you got there. Thank you. Are you going to sell it soon? It depends how good it works. We'll see in a little bit. <laughs> is the concrete ready, you guys? You guys got to start a little wet. Make sure you don't let it get too hard because I got to get on it right behind you. I got to do this right behind him, so you got to hurry up. <laughs> oh, okay. This is your only job. Yeah, but that's a lot of time. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got to finish too. Everybody's got to hop on. Yeah, you got to fit. There, look how many squares there is. There's five squares going this way. We need everybody to get on. All five of you. Let's just start going right across just like this. Hannah's got eight estimates scheduled already this morning. So that's good. All right, guys are on it. So it's ready. Coming right behind them. There's a little bit of uh, release still stuck on these stamps, which is okay, because it's the same color as the Easy Teak's gonna be. But as we start stamping, you're gonna see a little bit of that release kind of stick to the surface, but that'll be completely fine since it's the same color. As Soon as they get like three more feet, I'm on it. I gotta try to stick with them as Best I can. Portalas. Take it easy, Eric. You have to yell at him. Right. He wants to cut him. Cut him. Cut the line. Cut the line. Cut the line. Cut the, cut the, cut the friendship line. Oh, the friendship line? Yeah. Cut him. You really cut him. <laughs> wow. You guys used to be friends. <laughs> A few more. Stamp concrete patio with fire pit. Oh, that's huge. Um, that's a yes. 45 foot long patio by 25. That's huge. I would say yes, 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 but not Ben. Okay. Skip Ben. Ben's out of luck today. Sorry, Ben. No estimate for you. All right, I'm just going to see how this is. I don't know if it's quite, quite ready yet. Feels like it's ready.
All right, we're making progress and grandma's here. But we're making good progress. Joints are coming out phenomenal. They are smushing in. There's a few spots it's really bad like here, but Ryan's hitting it with the super tool that I made. Yeah. And, and then Bugs is coming through with the roller yeah. and fixing the bottom of the joint. Be looking for these uh, VictoryStyle.com in about three years. Yeah. So yeah. Just you can pre-order pretty soon. Yeah. Pre-order. Yep. Pre-order. Pre-order like NFTs and then never put it on the market. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Look at those joints. If you look at the joints, it looks like they're textured because you kind of bounce that tool, and it looks like it's texturing the joints. Man, that looks dynamite right there. It's got to get washed off anyway. Look at this. Man, this is looking really good. Ryan, we gotta do something Doesn't this look good? Yeah, we're doing this at our house. We're gonna do this at your house. Yeah, we're definitely going to do this at the house. And then I'm going to put a wood plank somewhere around it. Maybe at the fire pit area. Wood plank would be This? Yeah. That would look awesome. Put some walls around. Oh, we're definitely doing walls. Damn. Almost done? Yeah. Okay, good, get off that stamp because I need it. Good job with the buggy and the washing of the man tools. All oh, bugs. Right there. There's a crack. Fracture. Ryan, come over here. Stand right there. This one's not bad. You just got to get a little bit there and there. And then I can take the stamp. It's not bad here. See that this joiner is, is much shallower than our joiner. So Bugs is taking the roller and going through the joints. Yeah, that's why we made a prototype first, but we'll fix that. Yeah, this is just the prototype tool. Wow, careful with the prototype. He almost pressed down to the gravel. A yeah, a little aggressive boy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good though. It does. This is the best texture patio we've ever done. Without a doubt. I just loved it. Because I like the Inca. It looks so real. And then with the joints cut like this, real small. Yep. Right here, right? A little bit. Does it seem like when Grandma's here, we're always doing a texture stamp? I know, it seems that way too. I'm always bopping the textures when you come. That's crazy, yeah. That's true, isn't it? But it's usually the texture. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't want to break your heart and tell you that's not a good idea though. Because when I'm when I'm hitting the concrete, you actually have to feel how far it's going down. It changes the whole slab though. It goes from soft to hard. And then sometimes like over there we got a hard spot for no reason. I know. My mom was thinking about concrete tools. You could tell you're my mom. She lays in bed thinking about concrete just like me. Concrete. Yeah. Daniel Yeah. Daniel's like, yeah, seven bag low shirt air mark fiber. Grandma's like, yeah, two percent NCA. Put it back down right there. There's a bald spot. See the bald spot? Just hit it with Billy. Hit it with Billy bumper. Ray, don't be eating before us. Make sure Billy's ready. He's gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Eric, I'm almost done. You can't take over when a man's almost done with something. That's cheating, you know, it's taking away his glory. Uh, okay, oh, with a spoon in the hand. You're getting a raise for that. You see, he's swooping food every time. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go, that's what I was just going to say. He's right there with a spoon, ready? What if he's, hey, what if he's really good at that, though? Really good, like he might get hired at the top kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? Oh, uh, Gordon, Chef Gordon. He could work for Chef Gordon. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay? You forgot dressing, Mom? You're fired. <laughs> What if you fired your own mom? Yeah, grab your stuff and get out of here. She grabs a food, we're like, never mind, stay here. Last corner. We're pretty much done. You guys saw we did these steps with the liners. We already done it with hard. That looks so good. Really small squares. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. This patio looks sharp. 
I really, really like it, man. I'm so happy it turned out good because this guy's really, really nice. And that barbecue was awesome. The chicken? Oh, yeah. Those beans, too. Everything. Yeah. Ryan is the joint terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's so aggressive. <laughs> Looks like he's spearing a fish. <laughs> He's like, he's like, Ugh! Ugh! I'm whale fishing. Yeah. I'm glad I made that improvised tool because if you were kneeling down trying to use it, you'd never get it. We would have been done. We would have been done trying to grind them. Maybe you're not fat enough. I bet I could smoosh it right down. Got it. I'll just tap it down a little bit and it'll be just fine. Once Bugs rolls it, I think it'll be fine. Easy money. Very, very easy. Oh, these are really good. Did you ever have these, Eric? No. These sparkling ice. This is the best. Oh yeah. These are the best. The lemonade too. Thank you. What did you make, huh? Oh. Sloppy Joes. They're extra sloppy. Just the way Eric likes them. Yeah. Extra sloppy. <laughs> hey, you know what would be cool is if they molded little strips, bugs. Little strips of the joint. Same shape as the joint, rubber. You cut the joints before you stamp. You put them right in the joint, stamp right over and peel them all later. Just like they got the zip strip for, yeah. you know, kind of the same concept. But if we got to mold it to fit our joints just perfect. Because then you don't have to worry about them crushing it. You can pull them later. Yeah. <laughs> Man, these tool ideas are popping today. Eric, I'm gonna I'm gonna make at least five six hundred dollars on these tools. Five six hundred dollars. Mm. You always come when I'm tired and I lose my appetite when I'm tired. All that bumping. Yeah, it's all your fault. bumping. What are you doing with that, mom? I'm trying to keep the flies away. It works. If you want salad, maybe put a little bit of that on the salad. Is that like I your permanent spot to eat, Ray? I know, Mom. That's... Ray, go sit down, man. You're going to get a written warning for that, for real. Whoa, Hannah's been filling my schedule. All right. I'm glad I brought Hannah, because I would have never did that. Oh, Ooh. look at all that mesh. Oh. A half a trailer of mesh sitting out. Was that you, Tino? Because Tino usually takes all the forms off the truck. When we pull up to the job, first thing Tino does, hey, you guys, he empties the whole rack. Hey, you guys in the morning came and put wire It's like little sidewalks. Yeah. Some over here. Tino doesn't even know what we're doing on the job. He just empties the rack right on the grass. You taking a week off? To organize the trailer? Okay. I have to. Here. I have everything everywhere. <laughs> you need a whole week off just to organize your trailer? Yeah. Okay. I want a nice ride. Bugs, Bugs made a dessert. Man, what is it? Uh, pretzel crust with a strawberry yeah. cheesecake okay. with uh, wild raspberries. Wow, man. Here, Bugs. <laughs> wow, Ray, right. take it now. easy. You're not getting ready. 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 <laughs> two plates? You got two plates. You got so much food, it can't even hold one. one. I have to try it. I know. I do. Yeah. Picked the berries yesterday morning. Mm. Coffee with half and half? Yes. All right. Freshly brewed. You can come back next week, I guess. Okay. Look at you, Jay. Jackpot. Oh, man. Jackpot for Jay. You think she'll eat the fruit? I don't know. She didn't want the strawberries. She likes the meat, obviously. Oh, Grandma mobile. wants a picture of you guys. Just of us? Victory style? The delusional club. Okay. Ray, picture. We got this one, a little sidewalk tomorrow, and that's it. <laughs> no, no, I got some more than that. But no. I got like three and a half weeks right Don't now. Scare me. Yeah. <clears throat> but the boat schedule for the next three Fridays. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we confirm them and then they go, go. Hannah, Hannah put that in the schedule. Uh, Five or six Friday next Fridays in a row. The <laughs> yeah. We're out there in November. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs, you're on the tube next, brother. <laughs> I'm already frozen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan's, wave, Ryan's wakeboarding over the ice. Grandma's leaving. Thank you. You're trying to get out of work, Hans? Wow. No, but Hannah's trying to skip town, get out of work. I don't want Adios. To be hanging around 
<laughs> he made nine estimates for me already. That's good. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you I, can go with grandma. And three for me. <laughs> <laughs> three for you too? I don't know. How many did you send? Oh. Two. two for you. Is this this table is out here already? Yeah. Okay. Well Hannah can help you load up then. Oh we gotta put this back together. So we got the walking joiner tomorrow and the next job. Actually we're not pouring tomorrow, we're just setting up. We'll pour on Wednesday and then Thursday. We're gonna clean the yard. Uh, we got some concrete to take out on a job. And Friday is... Vacation time. Yeah, boat time. Yep. We're going boating. Hey, Eric. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know where the walk-in joiner is, but it's gotta be put back together. Oh. Just put the boat back through. Like yeah, no, 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 other way, other way. Yep. Like Eric, you shouldn't have to hit it with a hammer. It should just go easy. Nah. That's how you wrapped it up with your feet. Good work. Okay, I grab my coffee, grab my cameras. I got a sweatshirt over there. Make sure everything's clean. Awesome, Hannah got four estimates for me tonight. And she left them an hour apart. So that's gonna be a little rough on me. Uh, but we're gonna hustle. I'll get to the first one early and try to make up a little time. I didn't tell her how to space them. That was my fault. I like to leave an hour and a half between each estimate. I don't really drive too far. You know, we stay local here. So an hour and a half, if I spend, you know, 30 to 45 minutes measuring and talking to the people, that's, you know, that's as much as you need to spend, unless it's a really complex job. And that leaves drive time and everything. So I don't care for estimates. Tonight is good. If I can pick up two of those jobs, you know, that's three, four days of work. I'm gonna answer every call, you know, the next several weeks and get as much work as I can. Okay, bye, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. I see you, love you. How's your, oh, your AC is freezing in there. Yeah, it gets really cold. If it gets hotter, it'll relax with the air. Yeah. Good memories from this spot. Yeah, right there. So those of you who have, haven't been on the channel for very long, I gave my mom this car as a gift last year. It was a big surprise. Most of you have seen that already. Uh, but <clears throat> this job right here, the next door neighbor, this is the job we were on when, when I gave my mom the car. We did a whole setup on the road. I'll put, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go back and watch a video, but it was, it, was, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun for all of us and a, and a really cool memory that I'll have and we will have forever. You leaving, Bug? You didn't, even, you didn't even say goodbye. Adios. Bye, Bugs. Adios. Uh, don't leave the don't leave the yard yet. We got a little work to do at the yard. Yeah, we're gonna clean up the. Ray, don't go home. There's you got to drive a load somewhere. Don't think you're done yet. <laughs> oh, Ray. No, I'm not playing with you. And there's a load on a tandem. Ha! Load of what? <laughs> that needs to clean up today too, because we got a job tomorrow morning. What do you think? So far. I mean, it's not done yet. We got yeah. several steps to go, but yeah. All right, we'll see you Thursday, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to see this when it's done. Honestly, this is going to be one of the sharper patios. All right, see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty soon, you guys will have your table and chairs, and you'll be enjoying back here. I mean, your concrete would—if you would have done it yourself, it would have been pretty close to this. Funny story. Saturday, I go to do an estimate. Guy called me. He's like a handyman at the church. Yeah. So he decided to do it like a charity project kind of for the church with yeah. some of the church members and they took on this concrete project and it was, it's complex. Like I went there, I was like, I can't believe you guys would even think about doing this. Yeah. It's a raised patio about three foot off the ground. Yeah. So you have to put all wall forms and braces. And then it's a big set of steps coming down. It's seven foot wide. There's like seven steps coming down with a sidewalk. And then he wants oh a sidewalk goodness. all the way around the church, nine feet wide. So anyway, I went there. He'll probably watch this video, sorry man. But I won't say who you are. So they pour the top part and they put wall forms, but then they put pieces of plywood and then they just like put pins. So they start pouring the concrete and the whole wall fell over obviously when the concrete started going against it. And it's on a hill where the steps go. So like it spilled all the, not all the concrete, but all the concrete against the whole wall form, it spilled and went down the hill. So it was getting hard at that point they lost it they couldn't do anything about it so it's sitting there like 
it, you know, just frozen in time. The wall form is blown out and all the concrete, you can see it was like lava flowing down the hill and it's just stopped. This is and a new technique. Yeah, it's right. New style. <laughs> it's the new style. They tried to start shoveling it out by the wall form. They started, but it was hard and they just stopped and they gave up and they called me. He's like, he's really a nice guy. He's like, man, I just, I got it over my head. I shouldn't have done this. And I said, is it because he watches on the videos and we make it look so easy? And he's kind of like, she's nodding. And I was like, so it's my fault. He's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh man. Not how it looks. Yeah, yeah, right. So you made a good decision having us do the concrete is what is the bottom. <laughs> that's the bottom line, yeah. Back at the yard. Why are you calling me Ray for real? You know I'm on the way. Look at your hole. I know. Already? The form truck, man. Man. Hey. That's all that's on there? We can leave that on there. Yeah. Just go fuel everything with Ryan. And then you can just come back. Ryan can dump that, get a load of gravel, and then you guys can go. Yeah. Is that a special mirror? Special? The other one was replaced. See, the other one has a sticker on and stuff. I might have one. Let me see. Next time you get mad, don't do the Hulk smash on the mirror. I did. Thank you. No, I didn't. Yeah, right. Yeah. See, I knew I had a mirror. What do you mean, is it the right size? Well, it could be for oh. the quad angle. No, it's not. Oh, I got a solder. For what? This is a heated mirror, but you don't need that part. Just snip that off. Make sure it fits before you put it on. Here. Oh. Yeah. You're putting it on now? Getting mirrors and everything. Yeah. Yeah. We need an antenna. For antenna? The radio. I don't have an antenna, Ray. Here, take my car, find out where you can get an antenna, and get him an antenna. Can I've I... been listening to him whine about that antenna for like... Okay, can I get myself a radio then? Because that one doesn't work and it does have an antenna. How do you know it doesn't work? Does it Ray's turn on? It works now. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, I'm gonna go do my estimates. These guys are gonna do what I told them to do. And then uh, tomorrow we're starting a job. It's a small patio, a bunch of little sidewalks. It's not, you know, one of those fun jobs, but... We're gonna knock it out anyway, even though it's gonna be a hottie hottie. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.